Cheers. Welcome to Between Two Wheels. I'm English, so I've got myself a cup of tea to kick off this show. Uh, I'm going to put it down, though, just before we get going. Uh, what's the main thing that's between two wheels? A rider, of course. And today we have three of the very best joining us. Uh, I'd like to introduce, first and foremost, uh, one of the most stylish men to ever throw his leg over a bike, Mr. Louis Rossi of the number six ERC bike. He's best known as the winner of the 2012 Moto3 French GP at his home track in Le Mans. And being a local, it's almost inevitable that you'll find your way into the world of endurance. And so it was that Louis started out with GMT94 in 2016. Then he had helped Damien Solnier earn his stripes in the junior Suzuki team before making the move this year onto the Ducati. Uh, Louis, pleasure to have you with us. How's the Ducati feeling? Very nice. Italian style, a lot of noise, um, very powerful. It's such a, a great adventure who, which start now. How was it stepping up from the um, Superstock Sir onto the EWC Ducati? Was it a big change? Um, not at all, because the, even if you are in uh, in stock, the, the bike are still still powerful. But for sure, when you move into the EW, uh, EWC class, it's always better. You you win some a lot of time into the pits. Uh, some parts on the bikes are more uh, precise and. And in general, the, the bike is is more competitive, but it's not um, a, a way different between stock and uh, and um, and the EWC class. Yeah, well, you've proved yourself in both very successfully. I look forward to talking a little bit more about that later on. Uh, the second rider who's joining us is Mathieu Ginnis. Uh, he rides for Bike 333, Eagle Pure Experiences. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Mathieu. EWC champion in 2014, vice world champion in 2015 with GMT 94, uh, 2019 French superbike champion. But for me... The most impressive thing is not the fact that you're an EWC rider. During the week, you're a customs officer. You work for yeah. the Duan. How hard is it? To, how hard is it to slow down after a weekend's racing and you get back on the Duan bike? This is my normal job. Yes, I love it. Is it is it difficult to move between the EWC bike and the the customs bike? Uh, you have to forget something from the from the track, but uh, at the end, uh, this work is very nice because uh, we can move like we want and uh, not so many rules. And this is nice, now, a very nice job, and uh, I like it because it's a normal life for me. And after racing, it's very really, it's very really funny when I can come to my some races. I I love the fact we've got a photo here. You've managed to customize uh, your bike as well, haven't you? Your work bike. We'll yeah, take a look. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think you've got your 41 on there. Yeah, yeah, I'm very lucky now because I am in the um, where, where I work. You can have one bike for, for each uh, people. And this is really my bike. I have my, my stickers on it. And I, every, every day I take this bike. It's my uh, works bike, working bike. Yeah. I love it. Just a little number 41 there. Um, Thank you, Matcha. And then uh, the third and final rider who's going to be joining us today, Kenny Foray, uh, riding for the BMW Motorrad number 30 second bike. Uh, Kenny, you're celebrating more than a decade in EWC and you've got the trophies to prove it. EWC World Champion GMT94, that one was actually with Matcha in 2014, then Vice World Champion again in 2015, and two third place finishes in 2011 and 2012. And alongside your brother Kenny, you have so much experience in EWC. Yeah. Is it, yes. How how difficult has it been with uh, with the BMW? Have you 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 look like you've settled into it really quickly? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, after uh, now, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm not old, but uh, yes, I have a, a, a lot of experience in endurance. But uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a really good thing because in endurance you need it, and uh, it's always good to uh, to. Uh, to, uh, to share it uh, with my new team, with BMW. So uh, it's, a, 
is is always better for me to uh, to working like that. And uh, I, I like uh, riding with a uh, with a new team, with a uh, with a new rider also. And uh, yes, I'm uh, I'm uh, uh, I, I hope a lot of things for uh, for um, for for this year because uh, we want make something really good because we want uh, we want win a race with a BMW. We want to win a championship. So uh, so I I hope uh, can to be. Uh, Maybe uh, the first to uh, the first with my teammate to 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 make something really good. Okay, well, it's a reality this year as well, uh, as we've seen from the results that you guys are, are collecting. Two third place finishes. You have the consistency on the bikes and in the twenty four hour race at Boldor. But we have this is the big news for us now. We're going to go into the news section, and usually I'd read through this, but you guys, each, all three of you, are actually part of the news now. All of the bikes are back on track. Uh, Damien Saulnier of Suzuki put together a private test for a few of the teams, and all three of you got to ride there. Um, let, let's start with you, Louis. There's been a lot of talk about trying to get the ERC bike just with as many kilometres under the wheels mm -hmm. as possible and you're one of only two teams who are going to be riding michelin uh mm -hmm. for the rest of the season how did those first tests go back at the mall it was uh really important because we are trying to to make um as much as possible some kilometers to the engine because we don't know actually um, if the, the engine can lead the, the all the distance of the race so the test was really really important also because we discovered the the new the new michelin tire and um, so for, for my side it was a shame because i only ride one day of this two day of test because i had to go in in paris for the moto gp races but um we had some more tests a few days ago in the, in the castellet um but it was nice to to go back on the bike after uh, six months or seven months uh, without riding, and to, to to restart at 300 kilometers in the straight was quite important. So we had some good moments, some good fun, and we made a lot of work. How was it for you, Mac? As, as Louis just said, there you're you're going up to 300 kilometers per hour, and you, I'm guessing. You're on the road normally, it's 130 kilometers an hour, so that's a big jump. It's, it's for me now. It's yeah, yeah, for you, man. Yeah. It's a big change stepping from yeah, but, the... Uh, on the on the road. Sometimes I I can take a little bit more with the job, you know. But uh, for sure, three hundred on the road with the uh, with uh, the other people, the the car and all, it's not so easy. But uh, on the track, you feel it's never enough, you know. In Castellet, three hundred is not enough. You want more and more and more on the street. Not so easy. What what about you, Kenny? Like the uh, the BMW that you've been working on, the S one thousand RR. It's the it's the big question for you guys. You, you have the race pace. Is the challenge for you like the Ducati? Just been getting big numbers of kilometers down. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, since uh, just before the test, uh, the, the the only goal uh, was to to ride uh, a lot. So. Um, we uh, we had two bikes on the track, one bike for the sitting and one bike for the kilometers, and uh, one bike riding every time during one one hour. So it was good for for all the riders for us because uh, it was good for for test uh, one stint, so thirty uh, more thirty laps. And uh, at the end, uh, we we uh, we meet uh, zero problem on the bike, but uh, you know, uh, it's not completely like uh, endurance race. Is uh, it's just only one hour after you you stop doing twenty minutes. So for the moment, everything is good, and uh, the pace of the riders, uh, the team, everything. But uh, you know, uh, uh, we don't have a lot of experience because uh, during the first uh, race uh, to the Boulder, we 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 did only uh, only only twelve hours. Uh, after to Sepang, we we did only three hours. So. I think the first uh, real, real test uh, will be uh, will be uh, 24 hours of Le Mans. So uh, uh, we will see after the race for uh, because you know uh, you never know what happened in, uh, in in endurance and uh, the best thing is uh, is uh, ex experience. And for the moment, we we don't have enough experience for uh, for say something about uh, about uh, what we can to do. 
Okay. Well, it's going to be an exciting time and there's there's pressure building for everyone ahead of the race. Uh, now, we've already got, uh, obviously, with Louis Rossi, we've got Ducati represented with Matcha Ginnis. We've got Yamaha represented and with Kenny, uh, we've got the BMW represented. So in the interest of making it balance out, our workshop visit this week is to a Honda. Uh, let's go and meet Fujisan for a tour of the TSR workshop. Come TSR, let's go, come in. Yeah, I born in Tokyo, uh, and the Honda uh, first uh, starting in Tokyo. But Mr. Soichiro Honda make the Suzuka circuit. He ordered to us, my father, uh, please come in here. Uh, we just move it, move it here. This is our electronic system for the research and development. Yeah, come in. It, it, it's a next Bordeaux stand. It's a fishing engine. Secret. Mm. Yeah, it, if this, this is Honda, no photo or no movie and don't, ne never look at it. It's a factory bike, but this is mine, it's okay. <laughs> Every day uh, we ready a uh, three engine. It's uh, a st standard, no, no normal situation. We are uh, produced by our three engine. Mm -hmm. Everything, every part mm, is a great uh, quality. It's very high. Every part have a number. Uh, this bolt have number. Mm. Every bolt same weight. And uh, we check the mile. If we are over mile, bye bye. We don't use. my hobby, 50. <laughs> Next, our another division. One, Special secret room. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. Yes. It's a Spanish hotel. Just now, uh, Spanish team stay here. Uh, no pot, uh, uh, just home mechanic. But maybe more possible. Uh, eight is possible. I need the uh, same situation uh, to Honda France. Mm. We need a more strong team. Mm. Uh, yeah, good point is that we are just uh, translate to Honda France. Mm. We join to more strong, strong team. Very interestingly, uh, Fujisan has got his wish and they now have an office in France as well. And I, I absolutely love him. He's got that dry sense of humor, but in the paddock, he stalks that team like a beast. He accepts only the very best from his team, but like the previous in 2019, SRC Kawasaki, the TSR team have suffered that, that champion's 
uh, struggle where they can't recapture that form that they've had previously. So CFL definitely up against it. But as we've said so many times on each of these shows, we're now going in with a rescheduled cheat season to Le Mans and Boldor back to back 24 hour races. It's going to be very, very difficult, very demanding. And there are those 24 hour race points up for grabs. So while Kenny would tell you that being in second place in the standings is very nice. There is a lot of season left to race here. Uh, now, gentlemen, uh, we come to my favourite end of the show where we get to talk about your social media over the last uh, four months while you've been in lockdown. I've got to say, there's, there's nothing too embarrassing out there, but uh, I did have a look around. Louis, if we were looking for celebrities, you win this one hands down. You went riding with Rally Royalty, Sebastian Lowe. Yeah, we ride a few days ago together because um, we are friends uh, all together. And uh, one time I, I give him my Moto2. And this day, a few days ago, we was on the, on the Castellet riding together. And I proposed him to, to try um, the Ducati. And the boss say yes, no problem. So we make few laps together, and it was really fun because um, he, he ride very fast for a, um, a car driver. He have some good lines. He takes some banking. He go really hard on the gas. Uh, so it was really fun to to ride with him one more time. How many seconds do you reckon he was off the off a serious lap time? Ah, he's already in the in the good lap time. He's, uh, I think um, uh, in, for sure he, he can get the qualification in the 24 hours race and he could be part of one team to, to make 24 hours. But, uh, no worry about that. <laughs> okay, well, well, you heard it here first. Um, Kenny, from your perspective, I found one photo on yours. It seems like you might have learned uh, the software Photoshop during lockdown. This is a, there's a very impressive photo here that I still haven't worked out. You're going to have to talk me through this one. <laughs> yes, it. yes, it was with uh, because you know I um I uh, I follow on Instagram uh, uh, Varenka, you know, as a tennis man, and uh, he, he he tried to make enfin, he make one picture like this, and I say I think he's a really good idea for uh, for. Um, for uh, for the after the, the lockdown and uh, so I, I take a, a lot of pictures. I, I asked my wife to, to help me because it was it was not easy to uh, to make alone. But uh, at the end, it's not so bad. Huh? The picture is. Uh, I think I can uh, working uh, with uh, with you for some uh, picture like this if you want. It's, it's so good. It's is the cut down the mirror. Yes, yes. Uh, you know uh, it's difficult to explain, but uh, I take the line between the wall and the mirror. And uh, I just uh, follow this line, and it, it's like this. My my hand is uh, is like this, you know, because it's really important to no cut this line. <laughs> so I am really uh, close to my uh, body, and uh, at, at the end, uh, it was not so bad. Well, don't worry. If, 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 if the bike riding <laughs> career ever finishes, you've got a great career in Photoshop and everything. Ah, uh, wait, uh, this is the same T-shirt, yes. Partner, <laughs> <laughs> you know. You only have one. <laughs> Now, Matcha, I've got a brilliant photo from your family holiday that we spotted. It's look at this. We have the joie de vivre for you and your your lady there. But look at your daughter. She has full race face. Tête de court. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, two or three days ago. We we are in holidays, uh, all the family together, and we take a very good moment because this weekend I have to fight with Kenny and I need a lot of energy for kick him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, talking of uh, fighting with Kenny, uh, what one of the things I love in the middle of lockdown, no matter how serious problems in the world get, you always have sibling rivalry. And Kenny, you put up this photo uh, of you looking back, and the caption on social media was, where are you, Freddie? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it was easy for me to uh, to say that because it was uh, Paul Ricard. And, uh, you know, we 
uh, we have uh, some advantage with this bike is uh, the, the, the the engine <laughs> and uh, it was easy to uh, to uh, to take this picture and uh, you know after a lot of day uh, without riding uh, sometimes you 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 have some idea and uh, okay but he, he never answer me you know he's not hmm. uh, not play with me for this picture because he know you know <laughs> I did that I, I looked through all of the comments there were 35 no, comments never. and there's not one from Freddie no, 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 no. But you know, I think uh, when you when you don't know uh, what you can to to say, uh, the best thing is to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it always like that for you and Freddie? Like, is there at the baseline, are you still ten years old, racing against each other? What? Excuse me. Are you? Is it still like you're ten years old and racing against yes, each yes, other? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Every time, you know, it's it's really funny because uh, my first uh, my first contract in AWC. It just uh, there is just six months uh, difference between two. So uh, is a uh, we riding like this since uh, twelve years and ago. And uh, it uh, it uh, I think uh, we are really lucky about that because uh, when you see this this video is uh, is completely crazy because it was uh, I think twenty eight years ago and uh, uh, already on the bike and uh, already with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Absolutely love that. Um, Louis, I've got to say, you, you put in an impressive little stint. That's, it looks like an audition for the Harlem Globetrotters with the shark helmet. Yeah? You like the, the pink color? <laughs> I, I, like, I like the spinning on the, on the finger. Yeah, it's um, hard training to, to, to make that. It's not easy. I, I want to see it on the start line at Le Mans. Just before you run across, just yeah, for sure. Believe me, I will do it. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't work like that for safety. Um, I'm gonna save the the best for last though. Uh, Matcha, I have uh, I had no idea until I went searching that you that you were a customs officer. Uh, we've seen the bikes already. Talk us through it. I mean, how often do you? Is it a bit like a like with customs? Is it like police? Do you go on chases? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's like police, but it's not, um, you know, we don't uh, have to wait uh, some infraction to go. I look, somebody ride, and uh, for example, if I want to look in your car, I go and I stop you. But sometimes some people don't want to stop, and I have to to ride uh, behind, and at the end, they stop, and we can make what we want, yes. To look inside, and not with the, with the people. Has anyone, when you've stopped someone, has anyone ever gone, Matra No, not, I, I, it was funny because I don't know. Six years ago, I stopped uh, the boss of France Equipment and I know him and I, I make control and uh, I say to my people, oh, it's okay, I know these people, you can live. And I say just to see, I go to see him and I say just, hey, hello. And uh, he looked me and say, go out. And one week later, I see him and I say, oh, you don't... Uh, Say, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a work, and you know, I have every time the helmet uh, open, it's not like the right thing, uh, no, it's really not the same people. Huh? Ah. But it's okay, you meet enough. No one expects to see you, right? We come to the last part of the games now, gentlemen, and this is called Two Truths, One Lie. And what I want you to do is tell each other two truths and one lie in any order. And the other two people have to try and guess the lie. So you have to be convincing. It takes dishonesty and deception. Uh, who wants to go first? Up to you, huh? Uh, I choose Kenny. Me? Yeah, you're up first, okay. Kenny. Um, so I, uh, I finished one time on the podium to Suzuka Aitaros. Um, my first race, my first international race, I finished just in front of Tom Sykes. And uh, I'm uh, I'm two time world champion. Okay. Two time world champion is number three. Uh, on your, which, which, what was number two? Sorry. 
Uh, uh, my first international race, I finished just in front of Tom Sykes. Okay, and then number one? Uh, I uh, finished one time on the podium, uh, eight hours of Suzuka. Cool. Okay, Louis Mathieu, which one is the lie? First I think one. it's really easy for Mathieu. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the best to you, you speak with uh, for Louis. Louis, but... Louis, Louis. <laughs> the first one, podium in Suzuka. Okay, podium in Suzuka. Macho, what do you me, think? For me, it's two-time world champion. Yeah, I would say the same as well. I know you've got a one first, one second, two thirds. I think. Is it the? Is that the lie? Uh, for the for the um, for the uh, right or for the lie? No. Yeah, the lie. What was the lie? The lie no, he's a two-time world champion. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So one point for Matcha, zero for Louis. Okay. Uh, because you lost Louis, you go up next. Okay. Um, I'm afraid to stay locked into the elevator. Ah, afraid of elevators? No, not the elevators. To stay locked into the elevators. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> not the same. <laughs> um, I can make a nice flip with the skateboard here, just right now. Kick flip. Yeah. And the last one, I eat some pasta almost every day. Oh, they're good ones. That is tough, boys. <laughs> good luck. Okay, so we've got uh we've got kick flip on a skateboard is number two, pasta every day is number three, and number one was Three for the yeah, me too. Number three, because I did one week with him, I never eat pasta every day. <laughs> Is it the pasta, uh, Louis? I, 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 yes, I think because uh, for the for the skateboard, uh, I, I remember uh, something a few years ago. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I'm I don't think it's that it's a uh, pasta. Three, no, it's the skateboard. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I was if you if the skateboard was true, I was gonna make you do a Look, flip. The skateboard is full new behind me. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. He deceived both of you. So uh Louis takes the point there. So you each have uh Matcha one point, Louis one point. Uh so your turn, Matcha, last go. It's your only shot of redemption, Kenny. Yeah, I, I, I never win the 24 hours races in the WC. Okay. Um, I can um, I can ride uh, each condition during the race without any pressure. And uh, I never crash with my custom bike. <laughs> okay. Never crashed on the work bike. Uh, you can ride any conditions, no stress in a race and you've never won a 24 hour race. I, I have a question. Uh, uh, all the categories for the race or just uh, EWC categories? For the win? I, yes. say, I, say, I say EWC win. Okay. Ooh. He's looking for detail there. I know. Okay, go. You go. Oh, okay, no. Let's start with Louis again. Then you two know each other. <laughs> uh, it's always me, but I, I prefer to follow Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I will say the um, crash with the custom bike. This is a lie. Uh, victory in twenty-four hours. Which one is it, Matcha? No, oh, it's uh, riding in each condition. I hate the rain during endurance. It's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Unreal. Matthew Guinness wins. He fools both of you and he takes three points into the bargain. That was a very, very good sell. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for playing, gents. That was very impressive. Um, what's next? Louis, what are you up to now? What I'm going to do now? Yeah. What ahead of Le Mans? Ah, uh, training. Maybe have some uh, some uh, some rest to to arrive in good forms, but also um, I'm commenting the MotoGP races, so I'm going to go in uh, Red Bull Ring for two weeks um, to commenting, 
and I will arrive um, in good form for Le Mans. Okay. What about you, Kenny? It looks like you're going to be doing some parenting. <laughs> yes, but uh, no, I'm go. I'm going just after uh, in, in the afternoon to Manicourt for the French for the first round of uh, French Superbike with Mathieu uh, as well. Oh, amazing! You guys are close <laughs> to each other. So I know. No, I, well, I did the same. We will start the French Superbike, and uh, after I finish uh, holidays with my family and. We have a, again another race in Carole, and uh, after we are in Le Mans, I think Le Mans will be, be right very fast for me because a lot of things to do. And uh, yeah, it's nice. Now the racing it starts, and I think it's a time of life for three months only racing. <laughs> it's going to be busy. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all uh, racing back at the Bugatti circuit. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, that's been Between Two Wheels for another episode. Join us for the sixth and final episode before Le Mans coming up very shortly. We'll see you soon. Merci beaucoup. Bye-bye. Ciao.